Hello, I'm Jitender back with another awesome tutorial on Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, this video is really going to be useful for people working in corporates where you have to create your vision and mission kind of slides, you know, introductory slides. So, and that is what the concern of this tutorial. So in this video, we are going to see how you could create a vision and mission slide, you know. And I'm not going to just give you a template, I'm just give, going to give you a thought process what you should consider while you are creating such slides and specifically for if you have some brand and you are very much keen towards using brand colors and everything so this is all i'm going to cover in this video so stay tuned and make sure you watch till the end so here on the screen you can see this is the typical slide people will make usually when when I mean when they when they're creating slide they will take the new document they'll just paste over the things uh, they have you know our mission vision slide with the as usual font calibri and then the visions like that if you're a little creative I feel your slide will look like this I mean okay this is my brand uh, the office guys tutorial uh, the YouTube page right now you're watching so consider giving a like and subscribe to the channel so next you can see we have I mean this kind of slide so if you're a little bit creative you can do this but what I'm going to show you how I recreated the entire slide to look like this you know it looks awesome the same content but more visually appealing so let's see how you can create these things and I hope you love the journey of how I put my thoughts it's not just the design I'm going to tell you I'm going to tell you how I put my thoughts when I'm designing such things. So this tutorial is going to be a little long, but don't worry, you will end up learning something and that I am, I must agree that you will appreciate that. So let's take a new slide. All right. So I'm hypothetically assuming let's go with a blank layout and just, uh, uh, so I close this and, uh, I'm hoping you don't have anything over here. All right, so let's remove this. See, my branding is there and it can be your logo. So just you can change it as per your need. First of all, um, you have to always, whenever you're designing, make sure that you should stick to your brand. You know, whatever brand you're representing, the kind of font your brand is uses, you should stick to that. So this is what my occasional uh, thing I do is so I just take a te text box over here click there and uh, I'm just going to title it so I'll just copy paste from here just to save the time I'll just copy the you know format uh, text not the formatting formatting I'm going to tell you how I'm going to do all right so this is this is something I, I will place here I will copy the text from here so copy paste and uh, all right so this is, I'll keep this side, I will drag, so I will control and drag to uh, create another copy. I'll just do the text box a little bit, make sure both are equal, so we'll select one. And under the shape format option, I'll just go and make a uniform width of around like 12. I'm going to give the other text box, so both are the same size. Now first and the foremost thing which I usually change is the font. I personally don't, I'm not lover of uh, this classic kind of font, so I take modern fonts. So the font that I'm going to use in this one is going to be Inter. So if you don't know where you can find it, you just type in Google Fonts and you can search Inter, you know, Inter Google Font and you'll get to know. And I have especially a video, a dedicated video to that. I will give the link in the description box so you can just go and watch and you can learn how to install a font. All right, so I would reduce the font size to somewhere around 14. That's that's more reasonable, you know. We should not go below 14 or so. Okay, looks reasonable. Next, I'm going to increase the font size here because this is our main intention. I'm just going to bold it. And what I'm going to do is I just control and drag it. And from here, I will remove vision. Okay. And I'll just control and uh, okay, let's change a few things here. I'll just reduce this little bit and change the font to something a little less uh, black. Okay, I don't want more attention of people to go there. 
so a slight like 15% lighter could be a better option so I'll just keep it over here and then I will drag the same text over here and I'll move this side and I'll just change the text as vision all right so we have the text over here I'll just right align this so that this matches with this so you know kind of you we are getting the feeling of what I have done already so now let's create a box around this so I'm going to create a box like this and make sure the height or the width is set to a known number let's suppose with 14 come to the shift fit shape fill option make sure there is a no fill because our text will hide otherwise and I will select like this all right and I'll control and drag this to the other side as well so you know our box is ready uh, if you want to reduce it if you want uh, the our mission text to be outside so you can take that what you're going to do is just I'm going to reduce this uh, box size a little bit and just move these two up all right so make sure that your text is aligned with this uh, looks great I'll just take the text a little bit inside just to avoid uh, touching the boundary all right so looks good and make sure these two are on the same line so just select both of them and come to the align option and just make sure it align to the top so they are well aligned and this is one of the key important things that you have to always keep in mind when you're designing your text should always be aligned in the right manner otherwise they look off and people doesn't like anything which is off on the screen so make sure that you consider uh, aligning your text every time all right so we are good to go now let's colorize a few things so i'm going to just uh, right click format background so i just going to go to gradient fill so now how i choose a gradient first of all i take colors from logo all right so what i'm going to do is just here a gradient stop with the angle of 45 degree click on the first stop come to the eyedropper and let's choose a color from logo so this is the first color then I'm going to choose the second color as this so I'm just designing along with you so you can just see how creative it looks now you see the dark the background is too too dark to see the black text I mean it, it doesn't look it grabs all of your attention so what I usually do is I'll click on the stop and increase the transparent to somewhere around 80 to 85 percent and a similar way on the other stop as well and, uh, okay not the position sorry uh, you have to just take the transparency to somewhere around 80 so now you can see it is almost close to white but slightly off white with, with the feeling of the color and all so this is how I usually color my things if you wish to change color you don't like the you, you don't like that make sure you extract color from your logo once again so like this you can see it looks very good you can just reduce it slightly around 80 percent you can see you got a very good in you know, a background for your slide similar way if you're fine with the black text I, I don't say you change it but if you want to make it too fancy uh, what I can do is you can select the text come to the text options go to the uh, text fill option go to gradient fill and you can just uh, reduce down the opacity or the transparency of the text so now you can see but it's somehow not visible much with the background so I'm going to change the gradient over here so I'm going to take some dark color so I'll go with this so you can see it looks very neat and clean you know matching with your brand so which is in the, my case is a office guest tutorial logo so now that we are ready now it's time to create i mean this shape over here and also you know you can see i've given some gradient over here as well so you can try that out by very easily and just select that and make sure in the line option you come to gradient line by any chance if you're unable to see format shape option make sure you right click and format shape now come to the gradient tab and make sure you choose a color so i'm going to choose this and maybe this so and make just sure it's around 45 degree which looks cool and you can increase the width as well so that it's little visible so around 2.5 seems appropriate similar way you can 
select this pick up the style and apply the style over the side and maybe you can change the color if you wish to rent and uh, yeah this does look better so you can change you can play around with the color as required so you can see we're good to go i'm thinking we can reduce this font a little bit not much all right we can keep this here and we can keep this here make sure they are of the same size so let's make this around 10 and let's make this as well as all right so now let's create a circle around here so we'll keep it over here now remember as i mentioned you have to always extract color from your logo so what i just going to do is i'm taking this as one color make sure there is no fill over here so oh sorry not no outline over here so i'm just going to click no outline control c control v I'm, I'm going to create a duplicate you can press even control d i'm going to keep it here and reduce it by around two digits so maybe 5.85 and 5.85 all right so it's going to come here you can't see that so let's just change the color so come to the solid fill option more eyedropper and you can change another color like this let's create another copy of it and change it to another two centimeters so 3.85 by 3.85 i mean it depends the number now the number two tray depends upon you so let's before we move there let's change the color so again you can take the color from your logo like this seems great so why i'm creating this shape because it's our vision and aim so we want to hit that so it's like i'm kind of creating a target uh, shape again select this I reduce by another two centimeters one and one all right let's change the color this time i'm going to take red so i'm going to keep it over here now if you want to create a little bit of interest in this you can add a drop shadow so that they are well separated so what i'm going to do is i'm going to shadow option i'm going to add a preset of drop shadow to all of them so you can see the drop shadow is added to all of them so it kind of gives a depth effect to your design so now if i have to show you how this slide look like i mean then we can just drag it a little bit down and maybe if you wish if i have more content you can extend this design so now you can see this is our design how it looks like i hope you you enjoyed the tutorial with me and the 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 ideology before when i'm designing any slide of this sort so make sure if you have liked this video definitely go and hit the like button um i'm not greedy but it's just a matter of for youtube algorithm to catch my videos and in indirectly supporting me so thanks for watching this video till the end it's i really appreciate your patience and understanding this video we'll catch up in the next video thank you for now